Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Barky's Brigade for tonight. I think Barky's Beyond. <laughs> Barky's <laughs> Beyond. 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 The Barky Beyond. Star Wars Holiday Special. Beyond. That's right. Yeah. Happy Life Day. Happy Life all. Day, everybody. Yeah. Ah, that's not for three weeks, guys. I'm, uh, Get your I'm, shit together. I'm well, David so Crennan. So I will be your replacement gem for tonight because we're doing something a little bit different. We're trying Scab. to <laughs> cross the Union line. We're going to be playing some uh, Star Wars Edge of the Empire, the new Fantasy Flight game. Well, new relatively speaking. but uh, it's, a it's new every year. Every year they release a whole <laughs> a new, brand yeah. new set of supplements that completely rejiggers the game. Yeah. Oh, are you missing rules? Here's another set. <laughs> Someday you'll have a complete. I've played with these guys a couple times, but this is my first time behind the screen, so I'm very, very excited. It's going to be awesome. Does everyone kind of... Want to go around over here and uh, and talk about who their character is? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. What they're uh, up to? I'm Mace. I'm usually over there, but I'm sitting here tonight because I really want to play Star Wars. Um, I'm playing BR1-NK. I am a an astromech droid who's also hopped up on drugs. I'm a slicer. How does, wait, how does a droid get hopped up on drugs? All right, see, my computing power is Start so green. strong that sometimes I need to kind of cool down. <laughs> and so I have to rerun my Dragon Chase protocol, which allows me to uh, let off some steam and, you know. Is it literal steam? It's literal steam, <laughs> yeah. Literally vent gas. Literally vent gas. It's not good for anyone in a nearby proximity to me. You guys probably get like a secondhand hit, but, you know. What kind of droid? There's a lot of droids in the universe. I'm an astromech droid, uh, okay. R5 series. Okay. That makes you nerds. Like R2D2, but a. Yeah, that's the one little that little R2D2 bit better. fucked up. Like, you remember episode four where oh, there's like the one with a bad top. motivator? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's like that's a garbage can. Exactly. He's actually rust covered and just made of other. Garbage. And he actually garbage. works for a two He's a literal garbage. <laughs> <laughs> He's a garbage. <laughs> garbage. <laughs> I work for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm all for droid freedom, but I choose to work with you. Yes! Yeah. And the name was BR1. BR1-NK. So you're on the brink. <laughs> yep. Okay, I like it. Very good. Um, Amen. Okay, Arky Barky has turned into a, a charming Wookiee, um, <laughs> and she's a marauder, oh my God, barbarian, okay. and medic, <laughs> cleric. So <laughs> she's uh, still the same, and, and her obligation oh is to her, you'll never guess what it is, <laughs> <laughs> so if that's where it is, that'll be pretty fun. Yeah, um, be uh, and that's it, yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Atiska Nakeen. I'm playing Atiska Nakeen, who is a Rodian assassin, and he is duty uh, his obligation is that he is duty-bound still by the same... Blue Water Baron? Blue Water by Blue Water Baron. <laughs> 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 I can say that okay. but yes. So, but in this case, a space... Baron, I guess. Space. Yes. Smuggler space Baron. Baron. Oh, the yeah. Blue water Star Man. Baron? Blue Water blue Hut? Star He's not Blue Water Hut? Blue Come water on. Water. <laughs> <laughs> They're gangsters. Is that yeah. fair? Yeah. Make him a hut? Okay, so. Yeah. Think about yes. it. There's water. <laughs> it's precious on Tatooine. And, uh, That's true. Water, ooh. That's great. And what uh, what race are you? What is your... Uh, oh, did not say it? Rodian? Yeah, Rodian. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Like Greedo, yeah. yeah. So yep. what is the nature of your obligation then to this hut? Well, Atuska kills in a very specific style mm -hmm. that this this particular hut likes. Um, it sends a message. <laughs> so sends a message. So uh, he gives he uh, increases my powers every time for a success of kills. Um, but it's usually mm -hmm. something that he likes and I hear him every now and then. Yeah. Oh, she should really be like a dark side kind of Jedi. This might be. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, do you have like a calm inside like your body or something? Like only you can hear him whenever he frequents you? Yeah, it could just be a calm, exactly. right? Yeah. yeah. Neuro yeah. implant. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you have like a little camera or something that he's watching <laughs> the kills. Yeah, oh, that could I be. like that flurk. Uh, maybe that he's watching it through this droid over here yeah. who's uh, oh, yeah. got there his little go. system. Maybe you were sent by Blue Water Baron to keep tabs. Ooh, I like Blue Water Hut. Blue Water, water Hut. Thank you. <laughs> Blue Water Hut. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, and who else we got at the table? Um, I'm uh, I'm playing Donovan Belter. Um, I'm a mercenary soldier, um, and my obligation uh, is that I am a criminal, uh, much like uh, Donovan in in our <laughs> other <laughs> campaign. Uh, Donovan. Okay, technically we do have to use the word criminal with Donovan, <laughs> but everything that Donovan has done has been ethical and has been for the greater good. Greater and, good. And this, thank you. And this version of Donover, Donovan, 
uh, has also continued to act in a way that is completely ethical with his morals. So, no change. Isis. Asher's right there. With Whoa! You. Uh, <laughs> Asher's, Asher's um, right with you. Yeah, and, and right. Thank you very much for supporting me. Uh, still, and um, I, listen. I think we can all agree that there's a there's a greater evil in the empire, and anything that it takes to take down the empire is okay. It's all justified. It's all justified. Well, and uh, so I made all of your guys' character sheets over the last couple of days. For some reason, I felt compelled to give your character a bunch of grenades and high explosives. You're the, you're the <laughs> yeah. only character with uh, with a bunch of grenades on him, so uh, okay. <laughs> keep that in mind. I'm very happy about this. Um, yeah. All right. I'm playing <laughs> Udo Meinhardt. I'm a Jedi. Yeah! yeah! Jedi, 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 Jedi! Yeah, I'm uh, reasonably powerful Jedi, too. I am reasonably. I'm extraordinarily powerful. <laughs> I can uh, deceive people. You want to shave your chin. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I can force push people. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Eggnog. Careful with that. Oh. Uh, I, That's right. You, and, uh, you don't I have an obligation strength. to protect the ever-burning Lancelot of Nidus! <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. So when you're using those force powers, and this will come up, I'm sure, obviously you can only use light side points, as I assume you're a light side... Uh, Jedi, not a Sith. <laughs> it's, it's a you little, know, that's questionable so a lot of the time. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. So it's Anakin before the fall, right? If you roll your force powers and a dark side point comes up, normally you couldn't use that unless you wanted to tap into the dark side. And, and you know, sometimes you really have to protect that land form. So we'll see what happens. Pretty good. It doesn't seem like that'd be a really that difficult of a choice for you to make. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what? The lightsaber slipped. <laughs> Do I have a lightsaber? No, I didn't give you a lightsaber. What? No. Oh, it's cool. I got Jedi. one. Well, you've got one. What kind of? Oh, well, you've got what a vibro you? axe. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a lightsaber. Nope. Let's just like to make one thing very clear. That's a good call. Yeah, I, I thought I thought maybe lightsaber would be a little too much for the force powers in the lightsaber. You basically don't need anybody else. That's crazy. true. Easy. That's the way <laughs> our normal <laughs> yeah, game is. Yeah, yeah, they get in my way <laughs> and I rescue <laughs> them. Yeah. That's what a, right. what race is your character? I don't know if you had time to check. Uh, that. What is a chiss? Oh. There's a picture of a chiss a page or two in. They're uh, the blue skin people with the red eyes. Like oh, uh, I have blue skin still. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Am I seven feet tall? Yep. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I don't know. I don't think chisses quite make that height. You're probably well, six, six. neither do. Am I surrounded by a flock of butterflies? <laughs> uh, no, but you can make people think you are. <laughs> <laughs> so who's to say I'm not? <laughs> no, really. <laughs> He's surrounded by a sleep. Flock when of you wake up, I'm surrounded <laughs> by butterflies. Flock of butterflies. <laughs> this does nothing to you. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Asher Flint, and in this world, he is a Bothan Politico. Ooh, mm. holy yes. shit! Tasty. Yeah. Wow. So uh, that's important. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Exactly. He's a he's a smooth talker. He's he's in the political machine, but he got got caught up in Ash in uh, Donovan's. Uh, rebellion, Donovan's rebellion, and Donovan's fervor, and he he killed a woman. He put a <coughs> put a knife through her throat. <laughs> but she deserved it. Self defense, and yeah. she deserved it. Mm -hmm. All right. It doesn't matter. If Regardless, she did or not. it's still murder. <laughs> so that's the dark uh, side. So yeah. So I'm I'm uh, on the and on, on your the land, your character so. sheet, I actually gave you a uh, molecular stiletto. Molecular. That's oh, exactly, that's awesome. That's exactly what I used. A uh, blade that in the Star Wars universe, the stilettos go so thin they go down to a single molecule. At the end, they're yeah. monofilament blades. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so that is so that's cool. Exactly what I they use. don't do a lot of damage, but they can kind of go through anything. Yep, and that's at what happened. At least once. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, really awesome. Slow. Really slow. I just kept it. Just oh, yeah. yeah. Kept, didn't break eye contact. No. Nope. She deserved it. <laughs> okay, great. Well, this is going to be an interesting session, then. We'll see what happens with you guys. Uh, and then, yeah, once again, I'm David Crennan. Uh, I normally do another Star Wars podcast uh, called Never Tell Me the Odds. Woo! But I am. Thank you. <laughs> but I am thrilled to be here tonight, guys. I'm really, really excited. happy to have you. Yeah. Yay. Not that other schlub that's always here. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Maybe we'll have fun tonight. Yeah. Oh. I, I, I think it is very likely. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Udo doesn't see the new year. <laughs> Maybe we'll finally get some magical items. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Just like that. Oh. Shots fired. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, and happy life day to everybody, of course, happy right? Happy life day. Happy we yes. hope your life hey, what, why do people keep saying that? I don't know yeah, what any of that, that means. Me neither, so you guys don't know the, the true meaning of life day? 
boy. What's oh, Life my Day? Goodness, someone <laughs> cue the Charlie Brown music. <laughs> <laughs> the spot. Well, so Life Day is uh, the Wookie holy day holiday where oh, mm-hmm. they all get together and they get some sacred herbs from the lower levels of their Wookiee. I plan. like this. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Maybe you should explain the <laughs> origin of Life Day so that everybody understands like <laughs> on a meta level where this came from. Okay, that's an even better idea. In uh, Right after A New Hope came out, but before Empire Strikes Back came out, people figured, wow, this Star Wars thing's really going somewhere. It's almost <laughs> Christmas time. Let's get together and put together a weird coke-fueled slapdash <laughs> attempt at making a Star Wars Christmas story. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, that sounds the, amazing. Set on Chewbacca's home planet of Kashyyyk mm-hmm. uh, in his like really phenomenal 1970s looking like track housing. <laughs> and, uh, and it's a story about Chewbacca, his wife, Mala, his father, Itchy, and his son, Lumpy, Mm-hmm. In their, uh, Lumpy? Lumpy. 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 And the last bro. one they put no effort into. <laughs> well, it's technically his name is Lumpawarump. And, uh, well, that's way better. Yeah. Lumpawarump is already better than Lumpy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it, the first 20 minutes. I think it's two hours long. Mm-hmm. The first 20 minutes of it is unsubtitled Wookiees. <laughs> Just the, <laughs> the Wookiees yep. talking to each other going. <laughs> 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 And is they, this available somewhere? No, no. It's not technically. No, George Lucas. It was panned universally. Oh my god! Despised. What? George I Lucas. I, I don't know why, because uh, Harvey Corman makes a wonderful <laughs> appearance. It's they, in the, they, Star- the format they go NBA for author. is the. Uh, oh my god! They go for the classic format of like it's holidays, but oh, the snow's so bad outside. Can everybody make it home? Except there's no snow. It's Imperials and Chewbacca and Han Solo are trying to get home, and they have. Terrible. B. Arthur shows up as the owner of Mos Eisley Cantina. <laughs> She's got a big music on the Art Carney's in it. How have I never heard of well, this? Well, so George oh. Lucas, it was panned so hard. George Lucas exerted all of his power to destroy every single existing copy of it. What? But yep. because of the miracle VHS, people started circulating bootlegs. Yes! Wow. And that's the only place it exists now. Oh my god. You guys want it, I'll get you guys a copy. That in YouTube. I have I, I definitely I, I want, want it. a copy. Yeah. It is genuinely disheartening. No, you, I, <laughs> you want to put the novelty. After 10 minutes, you'd be like, fuck oh, this. No. Yeah, sure. I'm out. But I, you know what? I think, fantastic. I think I might be able to get through it and legitimately enjoy it. Really? <laughs> I, yeah. I might be able to get through it. I don't know that I'll legitimately enjoy it. We need to well, find a way to straighten this. In here. And, uh, <laughs> Maybe you will. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so the other thing is perversely, there's a little like pearl inside the s- oyster of shit that is this like show, which is there's a animated segment where Boba Fett is introduced for the first time in the Star oh. Wars continuity, and it's really like this trippy animation and actually compelling and re- well paced and really interesting. Oh, but you have to so sit bad. through. So you have to sit through. And at one point, an Imperial inspector comes into the house and is like. Uh, what's this over here? And turns it on, it's like a little TV screen, and Jefferson Starship plays an entire song. They play like a, a six minute song, and it's the way they frame it is it's just the Imperial guy going, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Just watches the song play out, and then like turns it off. And just like, a lot of reactions. What else is around here? <laughs> it's the worst. I don't think he has oh TV. God, part of the plot. No, the worst part is the X rated Diane Carroll. Uh, I think that's oh, shit, that sounds amazing. What? what? Yeah, Lump- <laughs> Lumpy's horny grandfather, Itchy, uh, plugs in in uh, a kind of an Oculus Rift situation. He has this like headset VR thing he puts on, and uh, I think Art Carney's like slips him like a little VR cartridge, and he's like, here's something you're really going to like, Itchy. And then he plugs it in, and they cut to black, and then like Diane Carroll comes like, shimmying her way out of the darkness and she's wearing this whole she does this disco number where she just makes love to this grand so it's just, it's just the even whole, whole thing is just people watching different forms the, of media yeah, yeah. you know the yeah. thing is though so like as TV. you explain it it doesn't sound that bad it doesn't sound the more bad. you explain the more I want yeah. to see that yeah. that's the classic mistake well yeah. if you guys, if you guys yeah. want a little taste of it last year for Christmas time on Never Tell Me the Odds we did a table read with the group and I oh. handed the script around and we went through that and read through that. That sounds awesome. And it awesome. just about killed us. It was the worst. <laughs> Six minutes in, everyone was like, David, how many pages of this are there? And it was um, I, it was a real tragedy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would recommend not watching it. Sounds it. like an absurdist masterpiece. So happy so life so day, happy everybody. Life <laughs> day. Happy life day. Happy life day. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Hashtag okay. life day. Well, let's get into this shit. Okay, yeah. I'm going to play the intro song. Yay. If that's okay. Yes. Please. Yes. Okay. Um...
and then I'll give the reins back to you. <laughs> okay. I always wished I had a family, and now I do. Barky's Brigade is here for me. We're here for you. And now I'll list the names of folks who make up our crew. It's Donovan, Atuska, Asher, Ludo, and me too. Oh, yes. Barky's, Barky's Brigade. Barky's Brigade. Arky, Barky, Flarky, Starky, Barky's Brigade. Yay. On point. Yeah. I hashtag nailed it. Did I got, um, uh, I did not get a single person. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did, up. but I did get, uh, I matched Tom. I don't know if it's correct, but I matched Tom. So Tom and I both did Flarky Starky. Oh, barky, barky, so barky, that's how you do it. Yeah. I thought oh, you then we were yeah. correct. Yeah. I thought you, you matched me in pointing at yeah, the wrong people. The point, right. Oh, because that no, that's what I'm really good at too. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm solid. Oh, there's another song tonight. Forty dollars in the in the pool for donations for another song. Yeah, yeah. throw it in the till, folks. That's oh, right. Yeah. As always, we're taking your uh, donations to fuck up the game. So just yeah. Just have me. <laughs> Come on, guys, do it. Bring it on. Fuck this shit up. Kill them off. Kill me off. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. We got booze. Yeah. Um, all right, so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, allow me to part the veil of reality. This is not a nice garage in Southern California that we're sitting at. You are not you. These are not chairs that you're in. You are in a distant, fuck, you guys are in a galaxy far, far away, long ago. Long ago. Thank you. You guys actually find yourselves standing upon the sun-blasted desert of Tatooine. Ooh. Each and every one of you, you feel the arid breeze blowing over your skin, sucking little bits of moisture away. Somewhere in the background, you hear the uh, junky little Tatooine-like vehicles puttering around. You smell like uh, overripe garbage rotting somewhere. You guys are standing in Tachi Station. Tachi Station. Little location, uh, not too far away from a little little known guy, Luke Skywalker. Mm. Not too far away from his homestead. Yeah, I was supposed to come here and get some power converters. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he's not here, which means you guys got burned on some bad intel. Because the reason you guys are on tattooing, well, I actually don't know the reason you guys are all on tattooing together. It's a good question, and uh, I'm not even sure where you guys all know each other. But what unifies you is the fact that you have to get off this planet fucking quick, because two Imperial Star Destroyers are coming into orbit. Oh, shit. Mm. And the only way you're going to get out of this planet's uh, atmosphere with your heads intact is if you can get the fastest ship and this whole parsec to take you out of here and outrun these Imperial uh, blockade coming in. All right. There's only one person who can do that. This is all intel. In fact, this is all intel that's being related to you as you guys uh, turn back to the man who's been talking to you. He's huddled in, like, an alleyway. You've just greased his palm with some credits. It's a Kubaz. This, uh, you see him briefly in one of the alleyway shots later on in A New Hope. Black face, bug eyes, long, wrinkly proboscis that comes down. He's got kind of a hut up. Me, is he? Yes, that's right, oh. he says as he buzzes towards you guys. In fact, there's only one ship in all of Tatooine that could possibly outrun that brigade, and it belongs to Han Solo, mm. on Mos Eisley. Well, where, where is this guy? Mos Eisley Cantina. I'll Put the map coordinates in your data pad. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, you get the little like, achievement award <laughs> video game heads up thing that pops up. <laughs> good, 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 good. Map coordinates added to your map. <laughs> uh, no, that, that doesn't happen. But you guys do realize that you're going to have to get to Mos Eisley, get to Han Solo before Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi get there and take the Millennium Falcon off of Tatooine. Otherwise, you guys are stranded. The Imperials are going to show up. And throw so you guys the first in the thing that we're going to do is completely prevent the entire plot of Star Wars. Yes. Uh, if you can, I love it. If you can. <laughs> I love it. Luke Skywalker lives a charmed life. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you guys are in the completely wrong city right now. Oh, You're in funny. Tachi Station. Luke was supposed to show up there. You don't know oh. why he hasn't. Oh, uh, Kubaz, man. Um, this is a gas? Uh, maybe, can you get us to Mos Eisley super fast? Mm, for enough credits? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, let's let's negotiate, shall we? Okay. okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll take um. He sizes you up real quick. The way your speech patterns, oh, no. the fact that you're a giant Wookie. Uh, how do you do Wookie? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I like to hear everybody's Wookie. Who's got the best Wookie? I can't follow that. It's, uh, it's intimidating. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is all very good. So, of course, all of you guys Arr. speak Wookiee and can understand her without any trouble. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, Amir. Two thousand credits. Oh come on! Come on! I, I ram them. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, um, you do, but you just kind of bump harmlessly into him, and he just yeah. pushes you away. Yeah. Two thousand credits. I, don't I won't go any lower. I have five hundred. Yeah, I'm. Uh, can I actually? I'd like to make a negotiation check. Um, yes, negotiation. This is perfect chance to make a negotiation check. Um, yeah, and I'm 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 doing it with, uh, um, using a little bit of. Uh, you're a Wookie, right? I'm a Wookie. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and and get the Wookie to. Uh, I kind of like elbow the Wookie and get the Wookie to glare menacingly, like you're ready to rip his arms off at any and moment. And I'll lift my hand. <laughs> oh, the back. So end. before you get into this first skill check, we have to go around and roll our force die, the okay. mystical force die, and generate our little destiny point pool, which are these light side slash dark side tokens. So these you guys can spend to upgrade your rolls whenever you want to, <coughs> but every time you spend a light side point, it turns into a dark side point, and those are what I can use, thus oh. bringing balance to the force. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, why don't you start us off, Mason? Just go ahead and roll it and. Uh, one dark side, or light side. One light side. Can we put these uh, maybe in our central thing there? Yeah. One dark. All right. Bom, bom, bom. There you go, one dark. Two dark. Two dark. Uh -oh. Jeez, you guys. Yes. Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah. Come on now. Do, but. One dark. Guys, come on. <laughs> You're killing um, me. I here. think they shouldn't be in this thing, necessarily. Oh, sorry. Maybe... Maybe maybe Should we put it all along the rim, maybe? Oh, that's a good... Yeah. Two lights! Right all right. Who's the good Jedi? Thank you very much. You're the good Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Two yeah. light! All yeah. right. Yeah. Balance is Yeah, that's stored. exactly Is that going to keep knocking things <laughs> over? Oh, good. You're so far ahead of me, Amy. You're yep. very smart. Good job, Amy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Everyone and knows. I actually have to roll one last time. Yep. What are we roll this for me. What's Guys, up? trust me when I tell you I rolled... Fuck, one light. One light. All right, what do we have a total of over there? And one light side, you said? One more yep. light side. Okay, so four That's dark. That was a light side. Six I know. light. I six light. Over. Pretty good. Yeah, so, Donovan, are you going to spend a, uh, a light side point here? Um, no. What is your negotiation normally? My negotiation is uh, two greens and a yellow. Ooh, four sound. Yeah. Four sound. Okay. I'm going to spend one. Okay, great. And the difficulty for that is going to be a mere... Uh, this guy's not too tough. Let's just say three purple. Okay. Okay. And... No, go ahead and make that roll there. <laughs> I'm not going to give you any setback or anything like that. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. You did amazing. That is a good start. Triumph. Wow. So, yeah. Triumph and 26. So we have one, s one, one success. success. And then an advantage. Four. We have two threat. Yeah. So we got. One success, two threat. Is this not two? Uh, this one. It can cancels out. Oh, Certain. Uh, uh, so we have one success, two threat, two threat and, and a, a triumph. triumph. Triumph counts as a success in its own right as well, oh. in addition to being a uh, triumph. That's great. And now I've got two pieces of information to share with you. Okay. Uh, we have a donation from BSB Care One. Yay! Nice. Is that All the right. best way to pronounce that? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the best way. Thank you for donating uh, $40 for Amy's new song. Hey! 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 Good job, best Which regard. better be a good one because he also donated twenty dollars to add a to add a despair to Donovan's next <laughs> roll, meaning this roll. So we're also gonna have the to throw. Triumph and a despair. I'm gonna have they to don't throw, cancel each other out. They both right. happen. Yeah. What a crazy ass roll for our first roll of the night. So we've got a triumph and a despair on that. Now the mm -hmm. way I like to do this is you can interpret the triumph, the success, and the advantage. Mm -hmm. I interpret failure, threat, and despair. And I'm gonna let you do yours first. I'll come in right after that. Okay. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, so Donovan, uh, Donovan just looks this, uh, I don't even know the race because I'm not a Star Wars <laughs> My name is Pynchon. Okay, so Donovan <laughs> looks Pynchon uh, up and down um, and is just, uh, you can, Donovan gets visibly upset at being coerced for money because Donovan already hates the idea of the free market. <laughs> um, so, uh, well, luckily you're on a planet where slavery is legal. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, this is oh, I'm so upset already. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. nice. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, I just I just look at at, at and I say, okay. So you're telling. Oh, fuck That's him. the guy you're talking <laughs> with. Um, <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> so, so for you're so not very good at negotiating. <laughs> 
so for two thousand credits, you're you're able to. Uh, I'll take, take you to the next town. Uh, and you can do so quickly. Like mucus is starting to drip from his, his proboscis. Yeah. And, you, uh, and, you, uh, and yes. you can do so quickly, correct? Uh, yes, so just say it pretty quickly. Okay. Um, I pull out a grenade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the stun grenade or the uh, uh, frag grenade? The my, frag grenade. My hand, my hand is like... <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a grenade. I pull out the, the, the frag grenade and I, I look him dead in the eyes and say, I'm going to set this off and I'm going to hug you <laughs> if you don't do exactly what you said you could do with us. For us, for zero credits. <laughs> <laughs> for zero. Oh my god. So that's your negotiation. That's oh my god. negotiation. I love it. So your triumph is that, uh, I assume what you're kind of telling me is your triumph is he pees himself and does what you say? Right. Okay. I think yeah. that's a fairly good way yes. to do that. Uh, it was two threat, I believe yeah, you said? Yeah, two threat and, and despair. also the despair. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I love this donation. BSB yeah. Care uh, uh, 1. <laughs> that's an amazing role. Okay, so that sounds really good. Um, I'm going to say that your two threat uh, will make it easy just here for the start. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the f I did pull a Poor frag grenade. Dying. I'm just going to do it real easy. Just you take two strain. Okay. As you yourself feel your heartbeat like accelerating, beating hard in your chest. As you're like, Because I'm just Christ, so excited. If my, if my finger slips, I'm really going to lose a hand. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get flirt. And the despair is, at that point, a couple stormtroopers that just happen to be patrolling the street turn their heads and, and see, see you yeah. gesturing uh, <laughs> uh, Looks like rebels over there. Uh, everyone get them. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, my gosh. So we're gonna it's jump. a good thing this frag grenade is already out. <laughs> <laughs> Hold this. <laughs> okay, uh, so the, the stormtroopers turn. They draw their weapons. I'm going to need to get initiative checks from mm. everybody here. Kubaz goes, yeah, my vehicle's around the corner. And uh, I have a quick uh, request from chat to ask how the uh, how do the dice work? How do the dice work? <laughs> That's a the really good question. You know, if you pledged in on our Patreon, you would know exactly how the dice work because we covered this before the stream started. Aww, That's right. You fools. Well said, Tom. That's right. We we went over this in detail, but uh, briefly, guys. So uh, there's a failure and success icons on these dice, and you when these you roll are failures. Them up, yes, that's right. These Su are successes. Great. So those cancel each other out, and if you're left with one success at the end of a roll or more, yeah, you succeed. It, whatever you were trying to do works. There's also advantage and threat. So this is threat. This is advantage. Very good. The green dice are good and the purple dice are bad, FYI. So if you have advantage, you're a little better off than you were before. And if you have threat, you're a little worse off than you were before. And there's a lot of ways I can kind of spend that. Um, the deal is that success and failure and advantage and threat don't interact with each other directly. So you can succeed and generate threat, or you can fail and generate advantage, or any version in there. Uh, there's also triumph and despair, which just came up, which is triumph is something really awesome happens. Despair is something really shitty happens. And that's basically it. Is that so, on here? Yeah, it's not yep. right there. Yeah, a little circle thing. There we go. Dum, dum, it's, dum, I think dum, it's dum. probably, we can all agree, that it is unsurprising that Donovan immediately came <laughs> and rolled a triumph. Can I, can I try to make a deception so. uh, check mm. before we get into the show, or do I need to wait for... No, no, were, were you trying dumb. to deceive oh. Pynchon? No, I'm trying to deceive the stormtroopers from thinking that... We better do initiative, and we'll okay. see who goes first. So initiative is done really simply. Uh, we want to do... Let's start over here. You choose either your vigilance or your cool, depending on the situation. Duh. Okay, same. they made that a little bit complicated. Um, it's the same for you, both of those. Yeah. Okay. You use vigilance when uh, you're, you're surprised. No, no. Cool is when you're prepared. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Vigilance is when you're like, oh, I noticed that guy come around the corner. So if you're kind of uh -huh. surprised by like an ambush, which in this that case is sense. what's going on, that's vigilance. Cool is when you're like, we're gonna jump down and ambush this guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Keeping your ship tight, tight and right. Uh, one success, I agree. One Let's keep it tight and right. Tight and right. Yeah. What do you What do you count for this? Just great. So uh, success or there's success no or advantage no or? purple or red on this. No okay. setback. Just count your success. That's all we're gonna count. Go advantage will break a tie. Three success. Three successes. Are we surprised? We're not. Two su success. We're surprised, right? Vigilance. This is vigilance. Yes. I'm gonna go with that. Mm -hmm. Or we said vigilance. Vigilance. You can... We're surprised. Right. Oh. Oh wait, this is <coughs> yours. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You can use it. Just, so, just, I brought them for just us. Just remember it in your head, and I'll go oh. around and get the order. One success. Okay. Thank you. Figure Dave will have his. There's some over there. There's some over here. Everyone's good. And then we'll mix them all up and figure it out later. Okay, yes. everybody ready? Let's start with Mason. I, or I should say Brink. Brink or okay. BR if you want to. Okay. Uh, I have one success, one advantage. Great. Two success. 
Two success for Arky. Arky. Barky. Barky. <laughs> one su one success for a Tuska. One success. Great. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, two successes, one advantage. Damn, son! You're gonna one success, first. three Looking advantage. Looking at the triumph, oh. boy! Is doing anything, or is it just success? Briggs ties. Oh, okay. Uh, three successes. Oh! oh. One advantage. Ooh. So, you're what gonna a get to go first. Man. Okay, great. Well, I'm gonna roll, actually. What let me double man. check. Let's see if these stormtroopers beat you. Ah, mm, yeah. They tie? They tie. <laughs> <laughs> Sons of bitches. All right. Uh, I agree. Gosh, I don't know how to resolve a tie. Did you roll I, any advantage? I got an advantage. I got one advantage. You beat them. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. these guys come around the corner. You guys are all, huh? They get their guns right up on you. It's like I'm that scene say... from Snatch. You're the only guy without a stupid expression on his face right, right now. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, oh, no, no, no. We were just we we're just rehearsing a play. Right now, this oh, is all part of a scene. My God. <laughs> this is this is not this is not what you think it is. Can I back him up by starting to play music? Yeah. In fact, speaking of starting to play music, would you like to debut your song now, or would you? Oh, like we do let's do it after the break. After the break. The first the first thing after the break. That works for me. Okay. Um, deception yes. check. Okay, oh, great, great. What do you have in deception? I have two green, two yellow. Okay, that's going to be opposed by his. Ooh, they're not great at this. They're just going to roll two purple, but. Can someone flip one of my dark side points over? Oh, you monster. Oh, no. So whenever I do that, it turns one of these purple dice into a red die. Oh. So you're going to roll a purple and a red against your deception, which okay. is really good. Can I play music and give them a boost dice? That sounds good. What's the music you're playing? Uh, generic music number four. Okay. <laughs> so you're like a little keyboard. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just hit the button. It's like a mini He's like, oh, yeah, well, it's, <laughs> we're, it's a play. Boom, boom, ch -ch boom, boom, ch <laughs> there you go. <laughs> OK. Add that boost dice. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Good pretty math. Good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, got it, no, got it despair. despair. No, Dis despair. What is that? Okay, so let's you? clean up the pool. I got three successes and, Take one, those two out. and one failure. So two successes, three advantages, and a despair. Oh, man. So you guys can <laughs> see how crazy this game gets really quick. So you get to call success and advantage. Um, so success, it's just whatever you're trying to do, it works. So in this case, you did convince them right. that it's a play. Right. <laughs> you also have how many advantage? Three advantage. Three. Which is a lot of advantage. So you're way better off than you were before. Something you could spend um, one thing anytime that comes up. Like you get a free action, like or not an action, a free move that you okay. can take on your turn. Um, or you could use it to just kind of do something generally advantageous. And then despair I'm going to hang on to for one second. Oh, no. You can tell <laughs> me first. I'm scared. <laughs> um, the advantage... Uh, Maybe we... Can I suggest something? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe the guy was able to get his ship real close, and we we are pretty damn close to boarding it. Like, or, I mean, does that does that work? Like, sure. Well, the ship, the ship I like that. Could the, the advantage be that that he plays along? That the guy, that the guy that we're oh Pinchy, that Pinchy, Pinchy plays Pinchy along. totally plays with it. Plays He's like, ah, it. yeah, the grenade. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, that that works. I'm gonna yeah. take your suggestion there. Because otherwise, Pinchy could put a. Pop, pop that balloon real quick. Yeah, no, he's, he's absolutely going to play with it. Uh, so yeah, pinching. E, e, that's right, and officers. We all start like singing. Ah, it's not a real grenade. Yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. You the... give me the grenade. <laughs> now, give the me. The grenade is going to stay in my hand. <laughs> no, officer. <laughs> give me the grenade. <laughs> You hand it over to him? Yeah, I assume that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is just a playoff. This, ha, you fool! Yeah, I got another one! <laughs> and as he says that, the despair is that uh, he does not know how to hold a grenade. Oh, God. Oh, okay. oh shit. <laughs> goes off in his oh, hand. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a despair. Mm -hmm. You're playing with grenades, son. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Can you tell me how much damage does a <laughs> oh, grenade That's not do? advantageous. And we all die. <laughs> the end. <laughs> it's not the other place. Yeah, the vehicle one would have been a better suggestion, definitely. But I like this. <laughs> okay. So um, a uh, frag grenade goes off. It just looks like, you know, like a... Uh, like a eight sword. damage, crit four. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, oh, so this is a, here's a good another learning point. So uh, damage, whenever anyone attacks with a weapon... You roll to see if you hit. If you have a success, yes, that means you hit them. And then the way you determine damage is you add one point of damage for every success you rolled on top of whatever the base is. Right. Yeah. So this did eight. I'm going to roll an attack for this guy. 
We'll assume he's not very good at grenades, and that was kind of an accident, so I'm just going to roll him one, uh, one green here. Sounds like it was kind of an accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to do a <laughs> He didn't mean that to happen. I'm going to roll one green. We're going to see how many successes I get. Hey, all right. One success, so total of nine, nine damage. damage. The crit number you read was a crit uh, four? Crit four. That means if you roll four more advantage on that attack, you do a critical injury to whoever you're attacking. Uh, we can get into that a little bit later. There's a whole really cool chart. Um, basically, though, you guys will need to know this. If your wounds hit zero, you're not dead. You're just incapacitated. What happens is you immediately take a critical injury. Mm. Doesn't mean you're necessarily dead. Someone can get you back up on the feet. A medic can heal you. But that critical injury stays until you get an extended hospital rest. Mm -hmm. Until you get put in a back to tank like Luke was and float around and get healed up. Every time you get a critical injury, they add... Uh, they basically make you get closer and closer to the one true death, which can happen at any time. And unlike D&D, once you're dead in Star Wars, you're dead. There's no uh, seventh level. You come back as a floaty ghost. So if you play you, the drums and stuff. Yeah. You yeah. would come back it's, as a ghost. These guys would just be uh, Rancor food. Sure. <laughs> I am cooler. I want <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I can be Let reloaded. the record show. So who, who so takes nine damage? Everybody, I think, in this whole group is oh. going to take oh. nine points of damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Subtract your soak <coughs> first. Everyone has a soak oh, yeah. uh, So subtract that, and then you'll remove from, that. From wounds? From <gasps> wounds. Uh, do we minus, or is soak gone now? Or is soak still? Just soak persistent. Still it's, it's soak is persistent. So that's okay. just whatever armor you're wearing. Uh, Stormtroopers have a little bit better armor than you guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Gosh, Shit. I said they're at the entrance of the alleyway. I was gonna try and do you guys a solid and have the stormtroopers get blown up, but they were, uh, they're just slightly out of that blast oh, radius. Yeah. Um, Look, okay, back in time, so <laughs> his advent, his ad, can, can the guy have done it accidentally instead of on purpose? Like he's still playing along, because that's our advantage. Is that well, he's, he, he's I mean, he was, side. <laughs> he was still playing. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, so he'll just like, half his face is horribly he's like, burned, he's missing an arm, and he goes, ta-da! <laughs> 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 That's all I wanted. <laughs> Falls to the ground. No, I, I don't think the worst you can play that one ever. Off. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, no. the reason is because our advantage was that he plays along, right. and okay. then you made him menacing for the despair. How about this? I agree. I agree. That's he a likes, good point. His arm flies off <laughs> and hits one of the stormtroopers in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, Roar! and like staggers back and shoots wildly. So that's going to buy you guys a little <laughs> bit of breathing room here. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <laughs> so they don't, they don't get hit by the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> so you just. Oh, man. That's amazing. <laughs> there's a sound like a. Helicopter. I already love this opening scene. <laughs> if you got a big 10 pound This stage, opening scene is fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, I gotta tell you guys, it's not looking good for you guys to stop Obi Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker. <laughs> not looking good. Not looking good. We might have a free vehicle. The first thing, the first thing we did was got blown up. Second. <laughs> that was second person in the initiative order. We got to go down to now. <laughs> These, Beat that. Yeah. This, this is the stormtroopers, but the stormtroopers. I'm gonna put. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm gonna oh, knock them started. down to the bottom of the initiative <laughs> order. Bye, Viva. <laughs> 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 Viva. I'm also gonna move Viva down to the bottom of the initiative order. Arky, Arky, you're up. The stormtroopers aren't gonna get a chance to go until everyone else is done at this point. Okay, so. fantastic. Um, Two alarm. Uh, then I'm going to take. I'm going to. And yeah. you, if you missed it, Pynchon did say that his vehicle was nearby. Yeah, he was around the corner. So uh, I imagine there are keys or some way to start the car. Uh, Pynchon's dead. He's gone. He's left us. He's certainly down and he's bleeding out. Okay, I'm going to take my Wookiee strength and I'm, I'm going to take the keys <laughs> from him. Using your Wookiee strength. Yeah. Let's start just just tear the coat off of his body. <laughs> no, no, like so he doesn't fight. I'm imagining he's like, no, 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 and I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, I've only got one. Shh, shh, don't fight back. Yeah, and I, I like pin him down and, and I this, and I really. search his pockets for. You're, you're overestimating the uh, challenge he's putting up here. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> there's a pool of blood forming around his body. Okay, so you're bleeding out. You definitely put a, like a real good neck lock on. Okay, yeah, I, I'm. Uh, Thank God the medics come. <laughs> oh God, what's she doing? <laughs> yeah, stay down. No, Next rope. Sorry, I gotta Next protect road. my family. And, and <laughs> so give me your keys, and I take the keys, and I'm and I'm, and I'm heading straight for the vehicle, and I'm like beep beep beep. Oh, this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, Wait, were we in Donald Duck or Mickey Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> 
you does, does A23 mean anything to anybody? <laughs> <laughs> would anyone else here, uh, I assume everybody would be heading towards the vehicle. You guys see it, the lights flash. It's like, mm -hmm. um, looks like Luke's little land speeder, but this is one's all black and it's got some cool gold detailing on do, it. Can't so, fit all do, we need, do we need to run past the stormtroopers to get to this? No, it can't fit all of you. There's six of you. Well, five of you on a droid. Uh, it's like a four-person vehicle. Put me on the hitch. Yeah. <laughs> the, we, we, we can just drag him on the back. Yeah, BR you know? will be fine. Gun, 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 gun. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you I'll guys still hold him above my head. You guys can squeeze. That's oh, fine. Okay, okay and you're, yeah, wherever you can fit the droid. So yeah. it's going to yeah. have the arm on him on the back there. <laughs> okay. We just get a big, like, magnet, electromagnet, just like... <laughs> oh, it's good. A robot, robot you don't yeah. put a magnet on. Exactly. So, <laughs> quick, the question is, would everyone be jumping in the vehicle? Is anyone else doing... Anything else? Yes. Uh. <laughs> okay. Of course. Um, so I just want to let me check how many grenades I have left. <laughs> let, me, let me see how many grenades. Um, yeah, because I am worried. Oh, oh I have great. plenty of grenades left. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, just to be safe. How many grenades do you have left? I have three frag and three stun, so two frag now and three stun. I am gonna We're going to need at least one need frag need uh, in the is? Millennium okay. Falcon. Agreed. Yes, I'm definitely Thank saving one frag. Okay. Yeah. Um, Save it for the uh, solo. So, but I am I am gonna drop a, a, a stun grenade as we run away on the um, on the stormtroopers. Uh, You're gonna chuck one on them. Yeah, just gonna chuck one on them. Another important point we should bring up. So, how is the round structured on your round? This obviously it's kind of narrative, but on your turn you get an action and a maneuver. It's that simple. So your action is usually shooting somebody, making a <coughs> skill check. Your maneuver is I move. There's actually a lot of other things you can do too. So you could use your maneuver to aim. You can use your maneuver to help another person, um, things like that. Mm -hmm. Additionally, if you want to take two maneuvers, for example, you're double moving, you can always do that, but you have to take two strain from your character. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of your strain's kind of a resource you can spend to push yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, folks, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Saving Throw Live. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our first episode of an actual campaign. No more one-shots. Oh,